Hey everyone, it's Kaylee from Kaylee Melissa and you're watching Awesomeness TV. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can recreate this little Tinkerbell hairstyle. I actually don't have bangs, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fake having Tinkerbell bangs and also how to do her little signature top knot. This hairstyle is super fun and it makes you feel like you actually become Tinkerbell. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So for this hairstyle, you're going to need an elastic, some bobby pins, and a bun maker. Now you can buy these just about anywhere. You can also call them hair donuts. Um, you can find them at drug stores, at the mall, beauty supply stores. They're literally everywhere now. I like these because you can pin bobby pins into them, so it makes them really easy to pin down and keep in place throughout the night. Then optionally, you can use a straightener and just a little green ribbon to wrap around your bun. And then you'll also need a little teasing brush. This is the Spornette Little Wonder Teasing Brush, and it's my favorite. So the first thing you're gonna do is brush all of your hair into a ponytail right on top of your head. Okay, so now here's the fun part. We're gonna make fake bangs from our ponytail. So what you're gonna do is just take a big section of hair from your ponytail, that's kind of right up in the front, then you're gonna bring this forward. Now if you have long hair like me, it might be a little bit too long for bangs. So what I'm gonna do is grab the hair right over the elastic and just pull it back until it's the length that I want it to be. Kind of the easiest way to do this is to pull it a little bit short and then pull the pieces out to the shape that you want them to be in. Now keep in mind Tinkerbell has a little side swept bang, so you kind of want to give yourself a little bit of extra hair so you can make that nice kind of side swept effect. I'm also going to pull the hair on the side just a little bit longer just to kind of enhance that little diagonal swoop. I'm also going to have this section on this side and this is just kind of like the extra little piece that you always have when you have a side bang. You always have your nice swept side bang and then just a little piece for balance on the other side. So you can pull that down and have one here or not, just kind of depending on your taste. And right now you might be seeing that it's looking a little bit crazy. That's because we have to kind of use the straightener to kind of sweep it into the direction you want. But I'm just making sure that I have it to the length that's right for me. Now once you have it where you want it, we're gonna go ahead and bobby pin right next to the elastic of our ponytail. Now some of you guys might have a funny little loop like I do right here. Don't worry about it, we're gonna work on this little guy later. Okay, so now we have to kind of make sure that everything is in place so that it doesn't go flying around throughout the day. If I do this number right now, my bangs kind of do whatever they want. So we have to kind of work on them, style them, pin them down so nothing crazy happens. So what I'm gonna do first of all is actually split my bangs in half horizontally. So I'm just kind of stick my finger through the middle of it, lift up this top half, and we're actually gonna pin down this bottom half so that it stays in place. And then we're gonna let the top half back down so it covers up our bobby pins. So you get everything where you want it, and then we're gonna bobby pin kind of close to the hairline right around here. So these are still in my face and they're driving me a little crazy, so I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron them out of the way and then deal with the back section. So you're just gonna take your flat iron and you're gonna curve the iron in the way that you want your bangs to go. So I want mine to fall this way, so I'm just gonna make that little shape with my flat iron. So you just take a little piece at a time, make that little shape, and you can see that it helps it to kind of lay over a little better and get out of my face <laughs> a little bit better. So now we're gonna tease the underside of the top layer of the bangs. This is just gonna add some volume, but also help to net the hair together so your pieces of hair don't go like falling on either side of your face during the night, because that's no fun. So we're just gonna do a little bit of light teasing. This does not have to be anything crazy, just a little bit just to kind of net the hair together. Then once you've got that done, just gently run your brush over the top of the teasing to make sure that everything is smooth on top because you don't want anybody to see that kind of messiness from the teasing. Now we're just gonna lay this forward so that it kind of covers everything. You can see it nicely covers our bobby pins from before. But if you want to, you can actually bobby pin right through the teasing that we did because the teasing, like I said, nets the hair together. So if you pin that little net down, it helps to hold everything in place. And once again, I'm gonna take my straightener and take little pieces of hair and just make those nice little curved shapes so that everything creates a nice little side bang. Then I'm just gonna use my brush to kind of like comb everything, make sure everything's nicely in place. Once all that's done, you have your little fake bangs. All we have to do now is put our hair into a bun. 
So I'm going to be using my little bun maker again. Now if you feel more comfortable using this or a little rolled up sock, you can use this to make a sock bun. And that's a really, really easy option that you can do right now just to finish off your hairstyle. I'm gonna show you another way that you can use as well. It's gonna look a little bit more like Tinkerbell's hairstyle. So I'm actually gonna take this little donut and put my ponytail and the little loopy thing that I have through the little center of the donut. Depending on how long your hair is, you might have this little loop sticking out of your bun maker. And if you do, and if you feel like it's gonna be in the way, you can just kinda like lay it nice and flat against the little donut, and then just use bobby pins to hold it in place. That's the great thing about these, is that you can just pin right into them, and this will get it out of the way. Now, if your loop doesn't really like stick out too far, you don't have to worry about that. But for those of us with really long hair, it can be a struggle. So I'm just gonna pin mine down to the bun maker so it's not in the way. So now we're gonna use the rest of the hair from our ponytail to make this bun. And what I'm actually gonna do is wrap the hair around the hair donut just to create this bun that looks a lot like Tinkerbell's. So to do that, I'm actually gonna hold the hair on top of the bun maker with one hand and then use the other hand to wrap it around. So I've got this one in place and I'm just gonna wrap like so. And you can see as I do that, it covers up the bun maker and it creates this really cool wrapped effect. Now, if this feels like a lot for you and you're a little scared of trying to do something like this, you could always just do a normal bun or a messy bun, even a braided bun. Really, anything is gonna work. It's gonna look pretty. Um, this is just kind of how to get like as close to Tinkerbell's hair as possible. Then once you have the hair wrapped all the way around, you just have to pin the ends into the bun maker, which is another great thing about using a little bun maker or hair donut like this because you can stick the bobby pin straight into it and it holds really well throughout the night. So now that we have our fake bangs and our bun, I'm gonna finish everything off by just using a little green ribbon. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the base of the bun because Tinkerbell had one as well, so I thought I might as well do it. And when I get to the end, I'm just gonna use a little bobby pin to pin the end of the ribbon underneath the bun. So that's it for our Tinkerbell hairstyle. I feel like I really look like Tinkerbell right now and I love getting to like play around with having bangs because I don't have them normally, so it's fun to get to fake them. I hope you guys try this out and I hope you really enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to Awesomeness TV and tell us what other styles you would like to see in the comments below. Also make sure to check out my channel, Kaylee Melissa, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.